This is Direct Contact, a new early access tactical shooter made by a small dev team that have, like several devs before them, made entirely the wrong game. And I just can't take it anymore. Direct Contact began life riding the age old wave of hype these games often do, posting exciting YouTube videos and getting some respectable media coverage based almost entirely on the fact the game has pretty graphics combined with lofty promises. But lo and behold, the early access version of the game launches, and once again, me and many early access backers are left disappointed. And while I understand this is early access and the game has potential, a word that at this point I outright hate in the gaming industry, it will unfold unfortunately serve as the most recent example to a point I've wanted to make for years now and I just can't stop it from bubbling up to the surface. Oh my god. But let's begin by addressing the obvious. The game is a buggy, shallow, barely oh. playable mess. There's a weird hub world with almost nothing in it, your frame rate will regularly drop below 10 regardless of your rig, and the AI are both aimbotting superhumans and also complete brain dead degenerates. Yes, I think it's fair to say on all fronts that this properly sucks, and to charge any money for this at all, and they do by the way, should be illegal. Take. But let's be honest, this isn't our first rodeo for early access titles. Barely functioning games ah. in the early access category are par for the course. The release of a game that doesn't work day one is far more common in 2024 than actually releasing a game that's finished. And while it's fun to explore these games and experience the spaghetti code firsthand, and don't worry, later in this video, I absolutely do, this is not the age old point I'm trying to make. This game suffers from the same issue Ground Branch suffers from, which is the same issue Contain suffers from, which is the same issue Operation Harsh Doorstop suffers from, which is the same issue Armory Forger kinda suffers from, which is no doubt the same issue countless other tactical shooters I've never even heard of suffer from. The devs that make these games are all clearly really interested in one thing, weapon systems. The weapon systems in these games are always incredibly crisp, mercilessly true to life, and often come with unmatched customization opportunities, sometimes down to the finite details of exactly where to place your second, third, or fourth scope on the rail. The reload animations, weapon inspect mechanics, hell, even weapon damage models and bullet trajectories for different ammo types are painstakingly coded into the game. But do you know what all these games are missing? A game! Direct Contact, much like Ground Branch and countless other titles of this genre, are not video games. They are tech demos. They are nicely lit physics sims for you to walk around and look at your fancy toy you've put together in all manner of lighting conditions and changing environmental backdrops. And sorry man, but it sucks. Sure, if you're into guns, it can be fun to dress up your weapon and your army man and do cool poses and adjust your scope or whatever, but have we maybe considered finishing the hub world or getting more than 10 frames when literally nothing is happening, or making some AI that work, or actually making a game mode for the game you can actually play. What do I do now? Some kind of clearly defined and working set of objectives perhaps. Why do these games always drop with near perfect functioning weapon customization, with intricate custom reloads, mechanics that include weapon jams, multi-scope usage, and bullets affected by wind and weather conditions, but if I spawn in and move my head, my guy can't stop moving his head. Ready or not, I find to be a perfect example of exactly what you should do with games like this. The developers of Ready or Not clearly wanted to make a you have a cool gun in realistic world game, but they started by coming up with an actual swap based breach and clear video game first, then sprinkled on the customization and weapon realism afterwards. I feel direct contact and tactical shooters like it all start by making some cool ass weapon systems and then try and figure out how they can shove the bit they actually like and are really interested in into a video game. The more I hear about Grey Zone Warfare, the more it fills me with dread. They can't wait to tell you how realistic their weapon models are, how their damage models are based off real life to the point where shrapnel from close impacts will affect your character. I'm sure it's not long until we hear about how your soldier can get a cold and if he sneezes into his gun it can cause a weapon failure that only a special kind of very realistic shaft lubricant can fix. And we all know which shaft I'm talking about. The point I'm trying to make is that tactical shooter devs of the future, I think it's worth taking a 
step back and being sure that you're making the right game. You're not making an Unreal Engine 5 tech demo. You're making a video game first and a realistic weapon eye candy simulator second. But this video wouldn't be keeping it funky, keeping it fresh, keeping it 94.9 FM if we didn't throw it over to gameplay slogs to get into the weeds with everyone's favorite Unreal Engine 5 tech demo, Direct Contact. Over to you. I can see. <laughs> I can see his moustache through his mask. Headquarters. Training facility. Firing and heavy artillery range. Ah! Textures. Textures. Come to me. There they are. Oof. Oh, oh, my head's... I found the first bug. I played for literally two seconds. I cannot... Get my head back. Help! No! Oh, okay, I'm back. Uh, Jesus, the camera shake when you're running is pretty insane. This netting is good. Oh, so I can go over to here? Excuse me, sir. Oh, okay, no collision. Can I shoot? You can! Okay, cool. I think, who's this guy? The running test. Hey, that guy's doing it right now. Oh. 15 XP. XP. You have gained experience points. You just received your frontline funds. $17. I just got paid $17 for talking to this guy with a stupid hat. Hang on. How long have you been in the force? Oh, he's too slow. I can't run at his pace. Keep up, old man. I run as fast backwards as you do forwards. You're an embarrassment. Oh, he's catching up. <laughs> Another bystander. Yes, if you hate your stamina bar in squad, you're going to hate this game. That's for damn sure. The running test ends. <laughs> What's that, like a an ancient Chinese proverb? The running test ends. But your story is only just beginning. Okay. I'm at my arrow. This should be the firing range. Yeah. Training facility. I mean, I'll be honest, it's a little sparse for a training facility. Unless we're training growing small trees, in which case it's the most incredible facility I've ever witnessed in my life. Is that a lamppost? It is. There is, in fact, a random lamppost here. And I also have found an invisible wall. Well, training facility one, a little disappointing. Let's take a look. A training facility too. Or oh, frames. Frames are not good. <laughs> I'm literally walking around the world. Nothing is happening. My frame rate is... What is this, 20? Jesus Christ, the stamina. I love you can see exactly where I put my move marker. Put it in a tree. Oh my god, that is shockingly bad. Oh, the chop is unbelievable. Hello and welcome. To Training Facility 2. Tree's looking a bit bigger here than Training Facility 1. Maybe this has been open for longer. Oh my word, my frame rate is terrible. Look man, I get it. This is a weird hub world. It's an early access game, but this is beyond early, early access. Like, there's nothing here. There's a live fire exercise over there. Firing and heavy artillery range. Okay, let's follow the yellow brick road. <gasps> Jesus Christ. He's like, oh, this, this reminds me of the running exercise. Oh, look at that. Hang on. Air station zone three. F. F. Nothing. It does nothing. Okay. I shouldn't have got sidetracked from the, the, the main mission. What's over here? I should stress I have an NVIDIA... 3080. Oh my god, this stamina system. Why do I walk so slow once it's gone down? It's like playing PR on steroids. Okay, grenade and health. Your grenade has two ways to throw. Pressing fast G one time will perform a low throw. Holding G down for 0 .0, exactly 0 0.7 seconds, you will perform a high throw during which you go into an aiming position. Okay, so what is it? Pressing G fast will perform a low throw. <laughs> okay. 
Definitely works. Holding G will perform a, a long throw. I held for exactly 0 0.7 seconds. Does this blow up in my hand? Oh, I can sprint while holding the grenade. Grenade! Toss it a frag! Well, that didn't go very far at all. Weapons. Weapons gear. Each weapon uses a procedural... Procedural weapon handling, aiming, and recoil system. Wait, what? What does that mean? It generates my weapon handling as I play the game? You can inspect your present by pressing Shift F. My god, you can. Big inspect. Ooh-wee. Look at that bad boy. Double tap R for fast reload. Sick. Holding it down R lets you check your magazine ammo. Yeah. Press the scroll wheel to make you go to tucked in stance. Right, okay. Can I shoot like this? Oh, I can. So the firing range does exist. What was the last and final place to check out? The live fire exercise. Can I have a, take, make a brief detour of to this man over here. Latrine zone. Three. Are you keeper of the latrine? Sanitation duty ends. Wait, what? Another, another proverb. Sanitation duty ends. <laughs> I can't, I've covered him in rocks. Okay, anyway. Okay. Ooh, compass. It's a sexy compass. Look at that. That's actually such a beautiful compass, isn't it? Maybe the sexiest compass I've ever seen in a game. The weapon models also look great, as is tradition with these games. My frame rate. Right, let's put that compass away. I've arrived at the live fire exercise. The only thing live about this exercise is the fire. Does that even make sense? Okay, we have explored the hub world. It is incredibly disappointing. Oh, I got paid $45. Yes. That's lunch for at least a week. Listen, a lot of people are going to tell me that this game has potential, and you're wrong. And you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm tired of it. I don't want to hear this game has potential anymore. I can't take it anymore. This is just a tech demo. You can clearly see what the people are interested in making in these games. Oh, is this Ladrine duty? Air defense duty? Ends. Where does it begin? Where does it begin? You can tell what the people who make these games care about. Like, they care about this, man. This is what they care about. It's not a video game. It's not a video game. This is an Unreal Engine tech demo. Come on. I can't even jump over this. I can't even... Help! Wait, who's that guy? Air Defense Duty. <gasps> Excuse me. I, I said bloop. I didn't want to learn about air defense anyway. Right, to the helicopter. The helicopter is out here, you actually get into missions. That guy's still there. <laughs> oh no. Yikes. My game is slowly dying. My frames, I had more frames here the last time I was here. God, that's horrific. Is his head attached? Oh my God, it's not. Excuse me, sir. I may need to use your body for science. Curse this chain link fence. Oh, the chopper's back. I can play the game. Let's go. Wait. Don't leave me. I'm running out of frames. I'm drastically running out of frames. Nice reflections. It's a tech demo. Hello, sir. Seems unfazed. Okay, I've got some options. Operation Eagle Recovery Ukraine. Afghanistan. Eliminate or capture hostile four. Yeah, sure. Star game. Ah, well, it's going, it's going, it's going. My eyeballs are in fact a screen. I'm going to need to turn this down. It's unbelievably loud. Oh, it's, there's a weather volume button. Wow. This is the kind of sound I fall asleep to. Kind of weird. In fact, I feel myself... <laughs> I'm back. I'm here. Character selection. <gasps> it's me. How do they already have me in the game? 
I don't know. Squad leader, grenadier, MG, light anti tank, zapper, marksman, UAV drone, JTAC. Okay, obviously we're picking marksman. Bing bong. Enter firearm customization. Ah, you can see the stuff that they care about. It's. <sighs> it drives me mad, man. It drives me mad. It drives me mad. Tickle me confused. Oh, there's a scroll here. Ah, primary sniper. MK18. Ooh, sexy. There's a lot of customization. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Yeah, give me that one. Okay. Okay. Nice, another red dot. Why not? Why not? Muzzle adapter. This one, because it's bigger. Suppressor cover? Oh, hell yeah. I'm in. <laughs> um. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Is this going to work? There's only one way to find out. Okay. Gadgets. I'm guessing I can't take this stuff because I'm not the right kit. I take this. Okay. I've made some kind of monstrosity. Can I... Can I zoom in? Oh. Ah, alt. Okay. Okay, I can actually use this red dot, which is pretty crazy. Can't use that one, but that's all right. Oh, look, the rain bounces off of my gun. Oh, you see it on the floor. My God. It's a tech demo for Unreal Engine 5. What's the inspect button? How do I inspect? Don't make me go back through the footage to find out, please. I don't understand. It's it's not in the in the buttons. Oh, I've got a semi. You can tell in the bottom right. I just wanna uh, hang on. Okay, I literally had to rewatch all the footage that I just recorded to find Shift F to inspect the gun. There we go. That's the masterpiece we've created. Gun enjoyers, I bet you hate it. We are playing direct contact. We're in Afghanistan and it's raining, which I wasn't expecting. Let's consult the map. Okay, I have to run a small marathon. Ah, oh my God, it's begun. I see you. <laughs> what? Target neutralized. Engage top sight. Oh, I shot him so hard he turned around. Did he just hit me? I don't know. Engage side sight. No, top sight. Middle sight. I have way too many ways to aim my gun. Ah! What's he doing? He's running towards me. Oh, he's turned around. He's running away from me. He's dead. Oh man, there was a way to use bandages. Was it to hold tab or something? I don't think I have bandages. I think you can press I. Ah oh, yeah, my left leg has fallen off. Oh. Yes, he surrendered. I shot him so hard he surrendered. I'm afraid, dude, my days are numbered. Uh, and so are yours. Two XP lost. I don't take prisoners, dude. No witnesses. Oh, well, I can't sprint anymore. <laughs> I shot a civilian. Whoops. My bad, my bad. Uh. Okay. I'm dead. All right, all right, all right. A hollow sight, I guess. Oh, give me an ACOG. Give me an ACOG on my hollow sight. Yeah, 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 that's good. Muzzle devices. Yeah, give me that sight on there as well. Oh, give me that bad boy. Give me, <laughs> give me a sniper scope as well. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can click on the gun to change that. Oh, that's good. I like that. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> Let's have a peek, eh? Oh, it's, it hits me in the head a bit there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I've managed to get the AK. 
Look at it, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> My gun looks like a like a production line or something. Looks like the channel tunnel. What do you see? What do you see? Nothing. Hey, look, it's like I'm playing squad. <laughs> Got him. Ah, wait! I'm already dead. Oh, to get a weapon jam? I don't know. He's still running towards me. He's not stopping! Oh wait, did he surrender? Oh, I shot him into surrender. <laughs> Imagine you've got 16 friendlies around you and you're surrendering. They're all like, bro, get up. Get up. No, no, I surrender. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. Oh, it's getting, it's literally, it's actually getting dark. Third person. <laughs> uh, well, it's definitely work in progress. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Headless Horseman plays war. You know what? Let's try a different map. It was me. You lose XP for shooting bots in the staging area? How cruel is that? Oh, he's inspecting him. Something terrible has happened to you. Sir? There's been a murder. Maryland, this looks like it'll have a great frame rate. Back. Star game. Oof. It's, it's, an, inter <laughs> it's an interesting map. It's an interesting map. Oh, it's in. It's in. The map's in. Okay. Oh, it's like a, a breaching a house. Oh, no. My guy's still walking. Wait, is he going to walk through this wall? Oh, God. Okay, I better... Oh! <laughs> okay, 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 whatever. <laughs> whatever, just don't look at it, don't look at it. The medic... Uh, wait, hey! Hey, I'm in the menu! I'm in the menu, I'm in the menu! Hey, 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 hey! I'm in the menu! Okay, combat medic. E. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me medical supplies. Do I have them? I don't know. I'm dead. <laughs> uh, it's an Unreal Engine tech demo. <laughs> nice. Look, this is a real gun. Can we inspect? It's very bright in this dark tunnel. All right, we're in the woods. Engage double laser. Look at that. I'm like the predator. Look, I'm playing this one by the book. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. I'm having a gunfight with a with a ghost. Hold R to check ammo situation. I have bullets. Okay, hip fire is not the play. Target neutralized. I survived these. I'm bleeding big time. Is that me I hear? No. Wait, I have medical supplies. Come on. There must be a way to use these. I don't have any. Just kill me, man. I don't understand. I picked medical supplies. I'm playing the medic. <laughs> uh, I think I'm I think I'm coming close to giving up. <laughs> Self revive, inventory, tack light. Oh, I hate it, man. Did you <laughs> There's this, uh, you can just put an immense amount of detail into the weapon customization, the models. There's like windage and stuff in this game, but I can't heal myself. <laughs> like, come on. Like, I can pick my pistol grip. I can have a thermal sight, which doesn't work. Oh, it does. Oh my God, the game does not like this thermal sight. Holy, my frames have never been lower. Oh my god, it actually, it actually wants to die while I use this thermal sight. I'm down to, what is this, five frames? Ten frames? I can, <laughs> oh 
<laughs> what am I? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Oh, am I supposed to be able to use this? Is it because it's too bright outside? Is that why? Yeah, that's better. Put <laughs> that thermal sight away. Big toss. Ho! Frag out! Got him. Oh, I actually did get him. I grenaded him so hard he surrendered. Can I... <laughs> I can't do it. That guy's not dead. What? Wait, thermal sight. I don't. Never mind. Okay, I'm shooting through the windows and doors. At least that works. Oh, that guy's... Is that guy dying? It sounds like he's got a dog. I can see... <laughs> I can see his moustache through his mask. <laughs> uh, hilarious. Whoa. Yeah, gun's got that door covered. Oh, look, they're watching direct contact on TV. This house is full of maniacs. Are there any sadists in this room? It's a trick question. You're watching direct contact on TV. Breaching. Grenade. Wrong grenade. Nice grenade. There's a man outside. Oh. I <laughs> oh my god, what is going on in here? I can't put that on YouTube. Oh, he's a dog as well. <laughs> Give me treats. Okay, I'm going upstairs. They're watching direct contact here as well. Am I, am I skateboarding right now? Sort of. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Sound like I just fell down the stairs. Another TV. I wonder what they're watching. Please be porn. Oh, no. That guy was shocked. He was surprised that I was here. He did not hear any of the gunfire. Password. Is it 5836? My god, it is. Money. Take. I've taken the money. Notebook. Butterfly picture. Classified documents. Who the hell has a picture of a butterfly on their desk? What do I do now? Do I leave? Oh! I just had a feeling there was someone behind that door. Threat neutralized. Oh! Ah! What just, what just happened? Wait, am I supposed to... Am I supposed to be doing that for everyone? I'm dying now! Does it blow up every time? Am I dying? I'm dying! What happened? What happened? What happened? Wait, I have medical supplies. How do I use them? Wait, 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 medical. Duh! I hate this game. I hate this game. I'm not doing it again. I'm not doing it again. Yeah, this game's dumb. Sorry, it's dumb. I just think it needs to be a video game first and a tech demo second. Ugh.